So unless you've just been living under a rock or just are completely out of touch with the manga scene or what's kind of becoming hot, Kaiju number eight is literally on fire right now. Like this, this series is like super top tier moving super fast up all of the actual like rankings for popular manga series and it is crazy like it is actually insane how popular or at least how quickly kaiju number eight is becoming popular now there are a lot of different things that you could attribute this to and i kind of want to talk about like why kaiju number eight is so hot right right now or why do people like it so much because it seems almost crazy with how many new series come out all the time and that are just getting axed like so many new series come out and they don't even make it anywhere like if you're an avid manga reader like you you've seen some of these like phantom seer axe mm. samurai eight axe mm. build king axe like there's so many series that don't even really make it that far and just get axed but kaiju number eight is selling amazingly it's actually doing really well so if you don't know what kaiju number eight is about a quick summary of the, the story is it takes place in kind of like a modern day maybe slightly in the future but pretty close to modern day time uh in japan where you know life is pretty normal except there are giant monsters that attack somewhat regularly called kaiju i'm pretty sure some people are familiar with kaiju like the whole godzilla-esque type deal but the giant monsters that attack and there is a defense force that defeats them the main character kafka wants to be in the defense force to you know keep his promise with his childhood friend which was to be in the defense force together however where she was really talented and really gifted he kind of sucked like he was kind of a bum and you know he 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 ends up <laughs> he ends up making it into kind of like the cleanup crew where it's like he is one of the people that cleans up the mess of the 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 akaiju like well after they're all killed and stuff he kind of comes in and helps clean up the uh, city and basically something happens and he ends up gaining the ability to transform into a kaiju and now with this it gives him super crazy enhanced physical abilities and using some of these enhanced physical abilities as well as the knowledge he's gained from being basically a kaiju janitor he is able to you know progress through the defense force and kind of you know may and make his way there while trying to keep his secret and this is like the basis setup of the uh, plot you know there's tons of other characters he meets but the main lead female she me she's a really interesting character uh in terms of lead female character i know sometimes shown in series a real hit or miss with that but she's a very interesting character his his um his best friend in the series is also pretty dang interesting so there's lots of just interesting characters uh just immediately in the the series as well as like just the premise of it is really fun because i mean who doesn't like giant monsters like i mean that's like a big thing for everybody i feel like now before i really get into it if you're new to the channel make sure you like the video as well subscribe to the channel for more content i would greatly greatly appreciate that now the main thing here i'm, I'm just going to say it like the big thing on why kaiju number eight is selling so well why it is so popular is it's actually really simple it's just really good like it's actually just a really good story and i know that's like really basic but honestly just having a really good story will take you really really far in conjunction with the art style of it is really well you know the characters are actually interesting and pretty fun and it's it's it, it does a good job of being familiar or being like you know something that we've seen before as well as you know having a unique spin obviously it's really hard for stuff to be completely unique and completely like its own thing you know everything is kind of a remix of something else which kaiju number eight, i feel like does a good job of you know being its own thing as well as utilizing tropes that we've seen before in the past now if you are unaware uh kaiju number eight it's like the fastest selling manga series to hit um a million it, it, like just the other month it was fastest series in circulation to hit three million copies like as far as far as like a new series goes so it is like these things you can see it like it's not just someone's opinion or just the general opinion on the internet or on twitter whenever it, it like it's like trending or something it actually is just really good now one big thing a lot of people may attribute to kaiju number eight success or one thing that a lot of people kind of like will notice immediately i don't know if you could even tell when i was explaining it uh but if you do read the series or are curious about it it does have a very like it does have similarities to attack on titan uh, to which some people will say that like oh it, it is copying attack on titan or like it's using attack on titan's formula to be popular and this just kind of goes into like what i was saying earlier where like it does a good job of staying unique while remixing themes that we do like 
Now, I'm not going to say that Attack on Titan created the human can turn into a monster trope because it just didn't. There's been, you know, like there's really nothing new under the, the, the sun, honestly. But the way Kaiju number eight does it is vastly different from Attack on Titan. Like, honestly, the only similarity in the shows or in the series is that, you know, the main character can transform into a monster, so to speak. Whereas, you know, the, the main thing that Kaiju number eight has that is really separating itself from Attack on Titan is is it is not necessarily trying to be as gritty or edgy or dark or just as serious as a series uh, as a series that Attack on Titan is. Uh, Kaiju Number Eight is actually has lots of funny moments. Like it actually has lots of real comedy and humor in it. And not saying that Attack on Titan doesn't, but it's very like no one will like dispute that Attack on Titan isn't necessarily for funny moments. Like it does have some, but it's not. That's not a big part of it. And I'm not going to say that like Kaiju Number Eight is, is a comedy series, but it is much lighter in general, which is, you know, I, I enjoy that. I mean, I enjoy, you know, lighter, funnier series. That's just me. But but I really do think that this mixture of the, you know, human turns into a monster thing and, you know, it's lightheartedness does do it a lot of good, uh, a lot, a lot of good. Another thing that helps it is the release schedule. Most manga release weekly uh, to where, you know, Jonah Jump in the Jonah Jump magazine, it's every chapter outside of breaks, but every week there is a chapter. But Kaiju Number 8 schedule is a bit different. Like, it's it's a guaranteed break in there towards like they'll release a chapter every week for three weeks and then the author will get a break or they'll release two chapters and then the author gets a break so it's like it's kind of like it, it, it stops the author it stops the author from getting f fatigued too soon so and it gives them more time to pump out like quality chapters in my personal opinion which i think honestly i i love getting chapters every week obviously because i just love consuming content but i do think this extra break does do the author much like I, th I feel like it does do him well which is, is, is overall a really good thing but basically in, in conclusion i do think kaiju number eight has a lot of really good things going for it in terms of like you know story composition characters the art style you know just the release schedule of it you know the things that it did take inspiration from you know just how it is in general it does definitely it does have a lot of good things going for it which would definitely attribute to it, its uh success and just how well it's doing now if you're not reading kaiju number eight right now i highly highly recommend you do and if you don't it's it's Man, unless something crazy happens, Kaiju Number is almost assuredly getting an a, a uh, an anime. The only thing is that probably will take a minute, just because there's not as many chapters of it out as you would as you know as you would think there would be, just because of the release schedule. So probably an anime, maybe next year or the year after that. But definitely an anime for Kaiju Number Eight will be coming when they get more chapters. You you if you haven't heard it anywhere, you will hear it here first. I can almost guarantee you they are going to have an anime. So. That being said, you guys should definitely check out Kaiju number eight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about it. Have you guys been reading it weekly or have you never heard of it until now? I am curious to know other people's opinions on the series in general. Um, you guys make sure you like the video as well as subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Appreciate you for sticking around to the end if you did make it. Aside from that, enjoy the rest of your day out there. I will see you all in my next video.